All right, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII New Threat. <coughs> so, uh, this time around, going to be taking on the Gold Saucer. Should be pretty easy. It's not exactly known for being the most dangerous place in the world. Oddly enough, Iris has the most HP right now because she doesn't have a summon materia on her. And Yuffie's HP is kind of low as well. The Wiser Staff, partly because I still want that double growth at the moment just to try and get up to that level t those level 2 spells. So I've got double growth on everything that she's growing, most of which I actually really want to reach in the next level. Seal, not so much, but most of the other things. Mug would be nice to have too, for that matter. That would be a good thing to pair with Command Counter. Then we've got uh, Kalioka and Mishi, who are basically the same as before. Mishi now has Shiva. I'm assuming that since I'm going into de the desert, I'm going to have at least a couple enemies that are weak to ice, so I think that'll work out well. Alright, into the town. Get out of the way. Okay, see ya. The next train's coming in soon. Well, hopefully it doesn't destroy the entire town. Let's get into this tent. There we go. Hello, people. <laughs> Selling the ultimate deteria. Stupid kid, if you don't even level it first, it'll only sell for one gill. That won't be very useful now, will it? Well, nothing here. I guess you wouldn't expect there to be, but... General store. Transform materia. Tiny frogs. <laughs> um... I should probably buy a pile of these things. I'm gonna need them all eventually, probably. I've already got softs, though. So. Yeah, might as well buy a bunch of these, too. I don't have a Transform Materia, but I think... I think Cade Sith starts with one of these. I don't know if it's been changed. I'm not going to buy it just yet, because I probably don't want more than one of those, and that's really expensive. Force Stealer. Drains HP. Alright, so I can understand why this would be useful in the Gold Saucer. I can also buy more carbon bangles, but I don't think I need them right now. This is better for a physical cloud than for a magical one like mine. This guy also had the option for info, let's see. Eh, well thanks anyway. Let's see what's in here. Can't get out now. <laughs> She's trapped me in. And then there's an in here, which I should probably use. Even Iris is missing some stuff because she ended up gaining HP and MP from her materia. Or maybe it's. Just, oh no, wait. She just gained HP when I de-equipped the summon materia from her, since she had it when I swapped it over from red, but... Alright, let's head onwards. Oh, well, not talking to you, Ticketmaster guy. See ya.
know things are messed up when you're feeling nostalgia for coal of all things. <laughs> Easy for you to say. On that note, Time for egregious mood whiplash. Happy fun time zone, hooray! <laughs> Like, they mentioned the fact that they needed to get rid of North Coral to build the Gold Saucer, but, like, why do you need so desperately to build a Gold Saucer for that one specific place in the middle of the desert? It doesn't make any sense at all. That can't be the best place to build an amusement park. And even if it was, there are miles and miles of desert everywhere else. I think this save point is actually not costing JP now, which is really nice. Oh cool, I actually have rank ups this time. Cool. I wish I had saved first, but... Alright. Barret? Uh... Huh. There was a choice for strength and vitality last time, and that was really, really good. But now it looks like it's changed. He's got strength and dexterity boost, which I think it might be the one I go for first, because a little bit of dexterity will go a long way for Barrett right now. We've got magic plus spirit, which just seems like trying to build him in the wrong direction. I've also got Marauder, which gives strength. Well, I guess it gives vitality and spirit. This one's pretty solid, too. I think I'm going to go for a level of... I think I'll go for Marauder first. Then, when he's not using his W machine gun anymore, I'll probably go for uh, Bomberman later. Heavy Metal gives him some magic, which I suppose is useful for curing. I feel like that's a tanky setup. Just splash on Vitality and have him heal people sometimes, but makes him kind of a paladin, like Cecil from Final Fantasy IV, I guess. And then we've got Strength plus Luck. Luck just doesn't really do as much as the other stats most of the time, I don't think. So yeah, just because he's got the W machine gun right now for that huge speed bonus, I'm just gonna go Marauder. Next one will probably be Bomberman, and then I might just go Marauder after that. So that's the plan. Once I figure out which button the confirm button is. Uh, range by type. Dang it. Let's, now let's feed him all the things. Alright, cool. <laughs> 
without anything equipped right now, and of course generally his stats will go down with the materia equipped on average. There's only the, very few of them just raise stats, but yeah, that strength is all the way up to 70 now. And his dexterity... Wait, did I give him give him the speeds? No, right, he only got one. His dexterity went from 8 to 13, which is actually still pretty significant. But now if I shove the stubby machine gun on him... It's now all the way up to 63, which is much, much larger a jump. So yeah, I think that's good for now. Alright, demo. Let's see. I don't really remember what I did the first time. So Vitality plus Dexterity, that'll actually let her survive in the front row, which a little bit better. Which she might actually want, to be honest. Monk is Strength, Spirit, and Dexterity. I'd prefer a Vitality boost for her. Strength plus Luck. I suppose it's meant to raise her crit rate more than anything, but I don't really think I'll go for it. And again, this seems like going against the grain. The question is, do I want her to hit harder or hit faster? I think... I think I prefer faster, actually, because that has a lot of other uses in case I want to heal or do something else. So I'm going to pump her dexterity at least a little bit for the moment. It's, it's nice to have a couple really fast characters for certain bad situations that can crop up. And I mean, Yuffie's already in the party for these sorts of things. But it's nice to have a second character who can fill that niche. Alright, Dexterity is up to 87. Vitality is now up to 27. Which isn't a huge increase, but I did see that it made a pretty solid difference to have a decent chunk of Vitality increase. At least that's what I saw back in Midgar. I don't know how it scales exactly, but hopefully this is worthwhile. Alright, Iris. <laughs> Whoa. Plus 20 strength and luck. That's interesting. It's a pretty substantial... Like, that's substantially more than all of the other boosts. Like, this is only 20, this is 20, this is 20, this is 30, and this is 40 all overall. So, it makes up for the fact that she starts with really low strength and luck. Well, I don't know about luck, but... This could actually make her into a pretty decent physical attacker, I think. I'm almost tempted to just do this for the lulls instead of doing what I did before. I mean, Cloud is 100% magical this time, so... But I probably shouldn't mess around too much in a range mode. And we've got Geomancer, which gives the vitality, magic, and spirit. This is definitely a tanky setup. Again, that a, a small vitality boost seems to seem to go a long way. And then White Mage, even though it's basically as effective for Black Mage as well, let's be honest here. Hmm. I might go for Flower Girl. The Luck will at least do something to keep her a little bit safer. Not really much, but... Tiny evasion boost, I suppose. And I kind of want to make her a heavy hitter, so...
you know, I already made the hole in my inventory, so... Alright, let's see. She now has 67 magic by default. It's still not, like, super high, but magic seems to be lower than strength overall, just on average. So, that's probably more effective than it looks like. I mean, it's still only just shy of Barrett's 70 strength, so... And it's definitely higher than Tifa's strength. And now she has a bit more luck, a bit more dexterity, I think. So... Dexterity is also really nice to have. Her dexterity isn't, like, super high out of the gate, so... Kalioka. So Kalioka can definitely go either way in terms of magic or strength. The advantage to strength plus vitality is that it makes the cover counter set up a lot better. Because right now it works, of course, but... The other thing is that if I want to use her evasion boost, like her special effect, the automatic 255% evasion, I have to leave her unhealed, which is often pretty risky, especially with her low magic defenses. So I don't really want to rely just on that. Then we've got Dexterity. She's already the fastest character on my team, basically, so I don't think she needs it. Gill Bandit is luck focus, which is kind of not something I want. This is... Uh, and both of these are splitting between magic and strength, which is not really what I want. So yeah, I think I'm definitely going to go for this one. remember that I don't actually need to sort this. Alright. Even without explicitly boosting dexterity, it still went up all the way to 100. And now she's definitely going to be hitting harder than she was before. Because she was definitely on the weak side before, for at least for a physical attacker, and now she isn't. I'm hoping that Vitality Boost also makes a serious difference. Alright, cool. Okay, so now we're done with all the characters. Yeah, the rank-up system is pretty cool. Alright then, let's save it. And if I decide for some reason that I actually really don't like one of those choices, I can just revert to my older save. Oh boy, a lifetime pass. I would be really sad if I didn't have enough GP to pay for that uh, normal pass. Alright, hello everybody. As far as amusement parks go in video games, this one is right up there. <laughs> Pretty darn cool. Of course, then there's Barrett being a downer. A justified downer, but a downer at that. I don't feel like she's acting quote-unquote normal right now. She's not walking up to Pylee or Yuffie whispering things in their ears. <laughs> yeah, pilot's cool. <laughs> I'm gonna go... Wait. Oh, he actually joins my party? Well, I don't think it matters. I can just switch before Coral. Iris is also going to be in my party. Oh, I can only go with one character. Whatever, let's go with Pylee. Uh, event Square. 
speed square, brown square. I don't remember what each one does. The ghost square is just the inn. I don't think I can do anything there right now. Wonder square is where it's at. I don't care about the chocobo races. I don't even think I can go to battle square yet. Let's just see. Okay, yeah, it's closed. I wish there was a save point inside the battle square. Let's go to the wonder square. Gotta meet up with our Kate Sith. Everyone seems to think Kate Sith is like... Oh, right, gotta name him. Wait, what? Why is it working now? Why can I delete letters without it going to the side every single time? Well, that's weird. Or maybe it was inputting letters that was the problem? Oh yeah, right. It was inputting letters that the prob was the problem. Just enough letters. No! Well, I just bought myself some editing. That's not the button either. How do I... There we go. <laughs> Stupid name select screen. Yeah, everyone seems to... say that Kate Sith is horrible in battle. But, I mean, considering how shallow the differences are between characters in this game, like, it's really just some minor stat differences. I mean, not new threat, I'm talking about vanilla here. Just some minor stat differences and uh, the limit breaks, more or less. It really doesn't make too much of a difference. And honestly, Kate Sith's uh, limit breaks are some of the strongest in vanilla for one reason or another. Slots are just broken. Dice is generally more powerful than other level 1 limit breaks. Well, I guess that means Piley's gonna die. Sorry, Piley. <laughs> Piley's smart enough to realize that probably Kate says shouldn't come along with us. He might, like, turn out to be a Shinra person or something. Did he just bribe me? Slowly generate MP. And when defending, the rate will be greatly increased and can exceed max MP. Huh. The MP regeneration used to be Vincent's ability, as I recall. So I wonder what he has now. This is also a bit more powerful too, because he can do the whole defending thing. I think Kate Sith is supposed to be something of a luck tank with decent HP and defense. So the fact that he'd be defending makes sense for like a cover counter setup if he's going to be a physical attacker too. But I spec'd him as a mage before because of his short range. I still think he could work out decently as a physical attacker though. I think they would sell JP. They could probably make a killing off of it. Uh, arm wrestling. Oh, wait. He gave me JP and not Gil. That's a better bribe than I thought, Kate Sith. Alright. So the gold ticket, I think, is the lifetime pass. I don't remember what this is. I could get a couple X potions. Well, I could get an X potion for almost nothing. But I don't really want to exchange right now. I was actually trying to go to the arm wrestling game. Yeah, I'm not good at button mashing, so I don't expect this to work out very well. Okay, that was actually pretty easy. Oops. No! I didn't want to do that. Alright, let's see if I can win this one. The answer is probably not. 
Yeah, no, not even close. <laughs> hey, I've still got the timing, apparently. I'll probably mess this next one up after that. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, I get like a gill. Let's try again. Chippy than the last time, so whatever. This kid is stealing the snowboard game because I can't uh, play that one yet. So I can only play the games here before I play them for real. Crystal Fortune. Oh boy, let's get my fortune. It's probably really important. <laughs> wow, cold. Also, that fortune is a lot more uh, specific than Kate Sits. As a kid, I always found this to be the most fun minigame here. Of course. Now I'm using select and circle. Dang it. Not quite getting him. Now I actually don't want to see those red guys. Well, might as well just hit him with my tire. Sometimes when they die, they take out ones behind them, which is pretty nice. Yeah, my accuracy is not so great, apparently. One thing you absolutely don't want to do is just kill them in front of the truck. Well, goodbye. Because then they hit the truck a million times, you lose points. At the time, just bashing those red guys with your face seems to be as effective as actually slashing them. Be goodbye. Ow, oh, took more hits than I thought. Yeah, see, this is bad. Okay, good, it didn't hit the truck too many times. Sometimes it just gets stuck on the front of the truck and you lose a bajillion points. I actually hit one of the red guys with my sword. First time that's happened this entire time. See ya. I swear there weren't any blue guys in the, like, original FF7. Well, that was alright, I guess. It doesn't really matter, because I'm pretty sure the highest prize you get for a Getting a pretty low score anyway, so. 10 GP. Whoa, three speed drinks. Should probably play that game again. <laughs> oh, didn't get a chance to check Kate's stats. Oh boy, it's like all luck. Sheesh. I didn't realize his uh, stats were that biased towards luck. It's basically all he has, too, until. I, I know that a rank up will help him a great deal too. Like everyone else has a rank up sitting under their belt. Oh, this is also luck plus 30. And luck plus 40. Oh wow, so 70 of that comes from his equipment. His stats are just really low in general then. Well, I guess he's got high HP. So one of his material must be the nip then. Yeah. And that's luck plus ten. 
Whoa, his all of his stats are really low then, except his HP. Although I was right. Oh, huh. So it's just Legomorph then. It's so you just get one attack and it does both tiny and frog. That's interesting. Wastes turn. I mean, it saves turns uh, casting extra stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. So, but yeah, if I were to de equip different stuff on him, he wouldn't even have a very good luck stat for that matter. But I don't have anything other than yellow M phone right now. So he's only got 85 luck, and this is 70 of it. So he's got a whopping 15. I know in, eight, in, in Vanilla, he had uh, slightly higher HP than everyone else, slightly lower stats, but this takes it to an extreme. The other thing is that, uh, like, in, I swear in New Threat previously, he was more in line with the rest of the team. I don't remember having him having, like, almost twice as much HP as other people. Granted, he doesn't have any materia right now, but... Still, almost twice as much HP. Anyways, I don't really know what I'm going to do with him yet. Since I didn't really intend for him to be in the party right now, I forgot about the fact that he joined me and messed my setup up. I should do Monk House because it's worth a lot of HP. <laughs> this takes forever, but... Life of Mog. Who is a Mog? Great. By the way, my real life name is Human. So, like, if, you, if you're wondering what my real name is, that's my name reveal. I'm Human. Yeah. I feel you, buddy. I only learned how to fly last year. It's kind of tricky. It's even worse when you don't have any wings. I'm not even sure how I manage it, to be honest. Probably something to do with physics. <laughs> Plop. <laughs> Poor Mog. <laughs> okay, this is definitely changed. I wonder if these things attract chocobos or if it only attracts moogles. I don't know how many I'm supposed to give him. Probably like five or six. Here, have three. I'm pretty sure this is just a guessing game. So you get the right amount. Alright, you're getting one more. I'm not gonna... Okay, he seems happy, so I shouldn't give him a Koopo Nut. I suppose I was right about the guess of five, but it actually has a tell. I don't think I actually noticed that as a kid when I was playing this game. I just gave him random numbers of Koopo Nuts. So now what do I do? Okay, it went away. Oh boy! <laughs> He's the most heroic blimp I've ever seen. Now if he flies up into the sky, he can drop on a boss for double damage when he's holding a spear. Give him the dragon horn and you're looking at some pretty massive damage. Hello. <laughs> oh, 
I wonder if this number is random at all or different the second time around. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Seems a lot smaller. You don't need to stop Sephiroth. He'll come into the gold saucer, be so amazed by the cuteness of this game that he'll never decide to hurt anyone again. It's the perfect plan. <laughs> that flat, we're so proud of him. Getting a house at, so much, at a young age is so much easier with... <laughs> Monk is also a mug. <laughs> yeah, getting a house in Magical Forest Town is so much easier than getting a house in real life. Since my let's play of Final Fantasy 7. Nothing else matters. See you all later. Loot. I find it amusing that the game itself doesn't give me anything. Oops. Oh boy. I'm pretty sure this is basically all luck. I doubt they even have AI. Huh? I thought it showed, like, a cloud. I'm not sure if, it, like, there's any way to manipulate it at all. Goodbye. I bet it's just the first guy has like 30% chance to predict what you're going to do. The second guy has like... ...40%. They may all just have an AI in general, but... like he goes for the same thing a few times in a row on average but I don't know this could just be some sort of gambler's fallacy more likely than not hello tall skinny guy he's going for the same punch every time oh he finally went for a different one scissors doesn't really work if you're against a computer opponent. Hey, I got 3 GP though. And that one's busted. I may as well save my GP for later. Figured I'd just go for one round on everything. I could always try for whatever this 500 GP thing is though. But 
that'll also eat up my gill. I've already thrown away about 1400 gill. I only got 50 GP out of it. Oh yeah, I already talked to you. Hello. I'm assuming those are some sort of robot. Wow, that kid seems like she's gonna be sick or something, but I don't know how, considering none of these attractions really... Well, except maybe the one in the speed area seem to actually make you sick, but whatever. Oh boy, I got sick playing like... This is strange music. Yeah, I totally heard of that thing. I'm cool. I'm surprised he asked about the black materia instead of murdering you and extracting the information from your corpse somehow. <laughs> what a mundane worry. I could beat that 5,000 point score. I'm a pro gamer. No, I don't need to know the rules. I'm a pro gamer. So this is basically the only thing that costs JP besides the straight up prizes, I think. Unless the battle arena does too, but all right, back to normal music. As I recall, the best strategy is to zap for very short amount of time, because as your laser gets weaker, it obviously can't hit as much. I can't shoot those, I guess. I don't even know what I'm shooting at yet. Could I have even shot anything up to this point? Dang, this is really fast. I think I can shoot some of the vines and stuff. Yep, and I can get these birds too. This is very, very finicky. It would take a long time to get an actually good score on this. I got one of those things. Hey, those are worth a lot of points. I still just keep mashing the buttons in case something flies in my face and I have to happen to get lucky. Dang it. stars are actually kind of easy to hit, except the ones that are like right in front of the screen. Those ones aren't so easy. This area just seems about blindly firing and hoping to hit something that's actually worth points. UFOs for a fair bit of time before they actually give you anything. Yeah, at this rate I'm going to be nowhere near that guy's 5,000 point score. I can't hit any of these rocks, they're on screen for like half a second. I got one of those helicopters.
Alright, got that. I think this is really close to the end, though. I think that guy is sort of like the final boss. Yeah, it's like three enemies past that point. I wish I managed another 50 points. It might have been worth something. Why is this music here? I don't get it. It has 950. I wonder what... I mean, the elixir's pretty nice, but... Okay, so I just needed to get more than 3,000 points. Okay, cool. I managed to hit the target, I suppose. It was easy enough. I didn't even do particularly well or memorize any of the patterns. Not that it would be easy to do that, but... I'm not going to bother with the Chocobo Square. I don't really care about Chocobo flooding. Um... And I think there's nothing to do now except like, progress with the game. I think I'm probably just going to call it here, let this one be a kind of chill episode where nothing really happens. And by nothing, I mean no battles. I'll take that Shinra employee. Oh, what? I can't save. I was expecting to be able to save there. Well, I suppose I can't. I think I'm going to get ejected to North Coral. A man with a gun on his arm? Iris, what did you do? Hello, Dio. Now this music is fitting. Of course, we've got our Enforcer robots that are custom-built to handle any cheating warriors in this place. Going to jail. Good work, Barrett. I kind of want to get to the save point. I'm hoping there's no battles that are going to crop up. And I think that guy like steals my cash or something, so I better... Better just do this quick. But I can't PHS here. I think it'll give me the option to change party when I get to that house. But I don't really want to equip Kate Sith right now since I've got people equipped. Anyways, I think that's it for now. See you next time, and hopefully there will actually be a battle next time.